Uh, my name is Cecilia Charlton and I'm a fine artist working in primarily textile processes as my main medium um, using geometric pattern and repetitive motifs to communicate abstract ideas around ways of being in the world. These works are referring to the three fates from mythology. Um, the three fates would be responsible for spinning the thread of life, allotting the thread of life, and then cutting the thread of life at the time of death. Um, and so using the medium of embroidery seemed to make a lot of sense in order to explore those ideas where within the mythology, thread is representing life and the potent nature of textiles and the power of embroidery. Um, as I noticed in the item in the permanent collection, um, where they're merging the use of embroidery with imperial power in a tabard garment. Um, the, the process of embroidery has been used in many cultures to express labor and love. It's quite a transcendent creative process for me as the physical creation of the embroidery becomes almost like a mantra or a walking meditation. Um, you kind of slip into a subconscious headspace. So my interest is that visitors can see the composition from afar and kind of get sucked into the uh, overall image, but then equally they can come up close and once you focus on all the individual stitches, I feel like there's something awe-inspiring when we go to the Grand Canyon and you see this assembly of thousands of layers of rock, there's something quite moving, I think, as humans to be shown collections of so many small things all together, um, almost like the crowd at a sporting event or something. Um, so I find that really potent about these embroidered works. Um, I also really enjoy playing with color. Um, so this yarn that I use is Appleton's brand yarn. Um, it's all UK wool from UK farmers. Um, they've been in business for over 180 years, so there's a strong tradition within the country um, with this particular brand of yarn that I'm using. And it comes in 423 colors, so it offers from the outset an extraordinary range of palette. Um, and then also in some places I've been blending colors together to even further expand that palette. Um, so color is quite an important um, factor in this work. You can even see across each panel I've selected different palettes to communicate different feelings in the work. Um, so the palette on the left is more muted, it's more gentle is the word that I was using to steer the color selection. The center panel um, was vibrant, um, and that's the panel around um, prime of age and the real zest of life. And then the panel on the right, the colors were chosen to communicate dark um, and kind of the end of life, uh, the murky mystery that is death. Um, not that it's necessarily something negative, but it's just an unknown. It's kind of a void um, in our knowledge around what happens or what that existence is like. Um, and then for this installation in particular, I am focusing on the design features of my work. So the um, exhibition has taken place in three different locations. The first location, I use the installation and the wall mural to communicate a sense of theatricality or a sense of narrative. Um, as we think about the three fates. Uh, the second location, I created an installation that was referring to um, hand-painted wallpaper. And so I used the mural aspect of the installation to communicate a feeling of domesticity, which is so often um, referred to with embroidered works. And in this version of the exhibition, I'm working with more design elements, and so that's where the inspiration from the wall, for the wall painting came um, for the exhibition Aberdeen.